I've received a lot of requests to release my Cure profiles as just profiles, not .3MF files, and I've done that. I've also gotten a lot of questions of how do I use the profiles with machines other than Creality. I'll show you how to do that on today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Now, I didn't purposely make my profile so they wouldn't work with other machines. It just evolved that way. Let me explain it by showing you how to add my profiles to a Neptune 2. If you want to add a new printer to Cura, you go up to Preferences, Configure Cura, and then slide down to Printers. Then you click on Add New, Non-Network Printer, and then you can scroll through all the different printers. Let's say we want to add an Elegoo Neptune 2. Click on Elegoo, there's Neptune 2. Just click Add, and it's added to our list of printers. If you click on Machine Settings, you can see all the settings that are in Cura for that machine. But if you try to use that machine and you have my profiles installed, when you click on Profiles from the drop-down, you're not going to see any of my profiles. They're just not going to show up. The only way they show up is if you select a Creality machine. Let's just click on Creality under 3. And here's all my profiles that are in Cura, but it's not being recognized by the Neptune 2. The reason for that is back in 2019, around Cura version 4.20, they added the Cree Awesome mod. Now this was a great plugin or add-on that created a lot of extra profiles and features for Creality machines. But it broke the Creality machines away from other printers within Cura. But I didn't realize this when I started creating my profiles in Cura for my Creality printers. I didn't know that you couldn't use those same profiles with other machines within Cura. So if I want to use this with my profiles, Here's the workaround. Let's assume I want to use my profiles on an Elegoo Neptune 2, and I have an Elegoo Neptune 2 profile. What I do is I take the machine settings, and I copy these, and then I go make a new profile using a Creality printer. In this case, I'm just going to pick one that's very similar in size, an Ender 3 Pro. Add that, and now I have a second Ender 3 Pro. And I copy those machine settings from the Neptune 2 over to this new Ender 3 Pro. And then once I got all those settings to match the Neptune 2, then I'll go in and rename the name of that machine profile. So I'll change it from number 2 here, Creality Ender 3 Pro, to Neptune 2. And then I'll add in parentheses Filament Friday or FF, so that way I know it's a modified version. Now I have released my profiles as just profiles now. So it's just an STL file and a profile. I'll put links to that in the description below so you don't have to do the .3MF. So let me show you how to load that. Open the link and it should take you right to the profiles. This is a 0.28 extra fast. Just click download and it's going to download a .zip file to your computer. Unzip that and inside will be a Cure profile and the .stl file. And go back to Cura, click on preferences, configure Cura, profiles, and then click on the import button. Then go find the file that you downloaded and click open, and that'll bring it into Cura. You've got to do this for each profile, but it'll tell you that it's successfully installed. Now, even though we're in Neptune 2, we're at the FF one, now when you go over to the drop-down menu for profiles, you'll see all the profiles that you loaded, and you can use them with your Neptune 2. So if you want to use my profiles with another machine other than Creality, that is one workaround that does work. I use it all the time. I'll put a link to those profiles in the description below so you can download them that way if you don't want to use the .3MF. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or just buy through the affiliate links. It all helps. And if nothing else, click on that Film of Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Film of Friday.